New tonight, a special celebration was held in Simpsonville for 17 year old Leah Gibbons. Leah lost her mom one year ago and tonight she celebrated one year with her new family that stepped in when she needed them the most. They say Leah is just what they needed. Mm -hmm. Fox Carolina's Amber Worthy live at Woodmont High School tonight with more on her inspiring story. So Leah lost everything that she owned and lost the community that she grew up in, but she is now here starting over in the upstate and she's here at Woodmont High excelling despite the odds that people would believe for a child in her predicament. But she says that she wants to use what happened to her to inspire others and she's definitely finding the hope to do so. And I want, I want other people to be able to do the same thing and to take whatever is just eating them up and use it. Leah Marie Elaine Gibbons is standing proudly with her new family at a ceremony to celebrate her coming into their home. She was uprooted from her life in Myrtle Beach when her mom died from health complications. She's using that pain to inspire others. You can make the decision in your mind to take whatever is happening to you and use it as fuel. But she isn't doing it alone. I just can't wait to spend more time with her. Eight-year-old Maddie is just one of the family members Leah gained in this transition. Mallory White is a social worker who was called in when teachers noticed Leah's grades were slipping, leading up to her mom's death. It was then that Mallory and her husband Michael knew that they would be adding a placemat to their Thanksgiving table for years to come. And all I did was say, honey, um, one just found me. And his response was, just where do I need to drive? I wouldn't have had the strength and courage to do something like that, but, um, you know, it's, as long as you've got somebody with you, then um, you know, it makes it a whole lot easier. This is only the beginning of the life Leah is building in the upstate. Um, so maybe I can get people to think a little bit differently than they have before, not just about kindness and compassion and family, but about the foster system itself. And I think we'll be hearing more from Leah because she wants to continue to advocate for teens just like her. Reporting live in Greenville County, Amber Worthy for Fox Carolina News.